All right, folks, grab those Hellfire Club shirts, cue up that Kate Bush, because Stranger Things 4 is coming to Halloween Horror Nights in both Orlando and Hollywood. We got a bunch of new stuff relating to this announcement, and I'm here to break it all down. Talk about Easter eggs, connections, predictions. So let's not waste any more time and dive right into this announcement, starting with the trailer. Thanks for paying attention, Jordy. Sorry. Or we just skip to exactly 32 seconds in the video. Jeez, another conspiracy theory? There's no hidden stuff in the park. <sighs> Let me text Jordan. Okay, I gotta go. Ava's almost here. Now, there are quite a few connections between this and The Last of Us trailer, most obviously the characters from that original trailer. We have Drew, Sophia, and Jordan once again, but this time we're seeing it through Sophia's perspective, which I think is really interesting because myself as well as many others thought that Drew was going to be the one who would get possessed by Vecna and lead into the Stranger Things announcement. And just conceptually, the idea and the story within this trailer borrows a lot from The Last of Us trailer, where we have one of the friends on the Zoom call, encountering some spooky situation, and coming back to the real world by the end, wondering if the horrifying situation they just went through was even real to begin with. Now looking at this shot right here, we have one major easter egg to Stranger Things, and that's obviously the Hellfire Club poster on this poster board. Of course, the Hellfire Club being such an important part of the last season of Stranger Things. Uh, I don't really see much here connecting to Stranger Things other than the Hellfire Club, but what I do see uh, that connects to something else are those runes that appear on Sophia's phone. Those are the same runes from the last trailer that pretty clearly spell out Never Go Alone. I didn't notice that until after that trailer video was done or else I would have said it in the Last of Us video. But yeah, those, those pretty clearly say Never Go Alone. Now the second half of the trailer is pretty standard Stranger Things fair. You see the grandfather clock, which I'm really hoping plays a big role in this house as it would be a great way to get a good scare. We don't actually get to see Vecna, but we do see the claw of Vecna based on the stuff that John Murdy as well as Halloween Horror Nights themselves have been saying. Vecna is going to be a pretty important and pretty impressive part of this house, so I can't wait to see what he looks like, what he does, how many of him are there in this house. You of course see the boarded up wall with the red glow coming out behind it, letting you know we're in the upside down or some version of it. But just like the Last of Us trailer, we're snapped back to reality and then we get our title cards. As far as the trailer goes, it's pretty low key, which I'm kind of surprised for with as big of a property as Stranger Things. I mean, both of the previous Stranger Things houses had really, really impressive trailers with great set pieces that they used on the trailers as well as the event marketing for those houses. And here, we're not really seeing that, unfortunately. This falls a lot more in line with the modern HHN trailers of the past couple years, specifically the trailers of this year. But what we may not have gotten in the trailer itself, we did get through a press release, and I did want to talk about that real quick. Here it says, this year's petrifying haunted house will once again transport guests to Hawkins, Indiana, where they will encounter the newest supernatural villain, Vecna, who is hell-bent on obliterating the volatile barrier between the eerie upside down and the real world in an attempt to reign supreme. Now, real quick, it does talk about bringing guests to Hawkins, Indiana specifically, which makes me question if we're going to get any scenes in relation to Hopper and Russia. I think that Demogorgon battle would be a really, really fun set piece, although I get why they might not want to include that as to not disturb the flow of the story. The Stranger Things Haunted House mirrors the mind-bending twists and supernatural terror of Season 4, immersing guests in a heart-pounding experience alongside 
alongside Valiant characters from the series, including Eleven, Max, Eddie, and more. Guests will find themselves on the front line of Vecna's deadly attacks on the citizens of Hawkins, while traveling through iconic scenes, including the notorious Hawkins Lab, the enigmatic Creel House, and Vecna's chilling mindscape. So this right here really excites me. It lets us know we're going to get the Hawkins Lab scene, which makes me think we're going to get some form of flashback in this house. Maybe this will be the facade slash opening scene of the house, as it was something set up very early on in the show, this Hawkins Lab massacre. Or it'll be something we get later on, as in the show, they revealed the full nature of this massacre much later. Of course, we also are getting the Creel House. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if this is some sort of facade, especially for Orlando. There have been talks about about Eddie's trailer being the facade for Hollywood's version. It doesn't specify whether we're going to visit Eddie's trailer, but it does specify that Eddie will be in this house, which I'm not surprised. He was the standout character from season four. But finally, it says along the way, guests will confront their deepest fears and come face to face with otherworldly creatures like Demobats and even Vecna himself. In a race against the clock, guests find themselves in the ultimate showdown within Vecna's blood red mind layer, striving to escape and save mankind from his deadly curse. Like I said, lots of mention of Vecna here, but I really like that they're focusing on the mind layer for what I'm guessing is the third act of this house. And I really think they're doing this to one up the mind flayer finale they had back in 2019, as that was one of the standout moments from that 2019 house. Honestly, I'm really excited for this. I loved season four of Stranger Things. I'm a big Stranger Things fan in general, but season four specifically was just so amazing and again, had so many great jaw-dropping scenes that I can't wait to be translated to a haunted house at HHN. So that's what I got today. A uh, big day for HHN, for HHN announcements, of course. This is a really, really big IP. Um, this and The Last of Us is going to bring a lot of people to the event this year, and rightfully so. They're great properties that I think will translate translate to really, really exciting haunted houses. I want to ask you, what is your opinion on this? Are you excited for this like I am? Are you kind of tired of Stranger Things, even though it's been a while in between houses? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I know Frequent Fear Passes and Ultimate Fear also dropped today, but I'm saving that for another big HHN update video I have planned for this weekend, where I'm going to be talking deeper about the speculation map, the first little bit of construction that's occurred at HHN in Orlando at least, and those passes. So stay tuned for that big HHN update video. And also stay tuned as Saturday, July 15th at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, we are doing our first live stream on the channel where we'll likely be talking about this, about Stranger Things at HHN uh, for a good chunk of it. But I also want to do future of the channel stuff, uh, Q and A's, and general talk about the theme parks in HHN. So make sure to stay tuned for that one. But until then, I want to thank you all for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.